On Saturday the 8th of June 1982, the RFA Sir Galahad and RFA Sir Tristan, carrying contingents of the Welsh Guards, were bombed by the Argentine Air Force in the waters off of Fitzroy. 37 years later, the Welsh Guards, the Army Medical Corps, the Royal Fleet Auxiliary and the 5th Infantry Brigade are still remembered and commemorated for their bravery on that fateful day. The first part of the service took place by the water, with an act of remembrance at the Welsh Guards Memorial. As part of the service, a Welsh Guards flag was raised, the same flag owned by Brigadier Johnny Ricketts CBE, who commanded the battalion in 1982. A short walk up the hill lies a second memorial commemorating the Royal Army Medical Corps. The military padre led this service with a prayer and the collect of the Royal Army Medical Corps, followed by the laying of wreaths. Positioned across the cove overlooking the Welsh Guards Memorial lies the Royal Fleet Auxiliary Memorial, whose vessels Sir Galahad and Sir Tristan were bombed in the waters on the 8th of June whilst the Welsh Guards were waiting to disembark. A representative from the tabernacle, Jackie Earnshaw, led this service with a prayer and a reading of the naval college. They knew from experience the perils of the deep. They also knew your presence with them in their darkest hours. And so we remember those of the Royal Fleet Auxiliary and others who were killed or hurt in the events we commemorate today. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Honourable Alex Mitham, MLA Dr Barry Ellsby and Harbour Master Captain Chris Locke were amongst those who laid wreaths at the Royal Fleet Auxiliary Memorial. Go before us, O Lord, in all our doings, with thy most gracious favour, and further us in thy continual help. Trust in all our works, begun, continued, and ended in thee. We may glorify thy holy name, and finally by thy mercy obtain everlasting life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The final service took place at the 5th Infantry now Brigade Memorial the in the heart of the Fitzroy Christ settlement. Reverend Ian Folds led the service with a prayer and a reading of the epitaph, followed by the last post and a moment of silence and reflection before the reveille. They shall not grow old as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun and in the morning, we will remember them. We, we will, will remember, remember them. them. Deputy Governor the Honourable Alex Mitham, MLA Dr Barry Ellsby, Commander of the British Forces in South Atlantic Islands, Brigadier Nick Sawyer, and Phil Ovenden, were amongst those who laid wreaths at the 5th Infantry Brigade Memorial.
The service ended on a prayer of commitment and a blessing to commemorate those who lost their lives that fateful day in June, 37 years ago. Cause of peace, for the relief of want and suffering, and for the honour of your name. Guide us by your spirit, give us wisdom, give us courage, and keep us ever faithful to you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look kindly on you and give you peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. <laughs>